Welcome to this mini tutorial on the Query tool in Atlas TI. In this tutorial, we'll begin by learning about the basic function of the Query tool and introduce some useful vocabulary for building queries. We'll then go on to create a sample query to see how the tool works and simultaneously receive an overview of its layout and components. Lastly, we'll look at some functions that are available for modifying and restricting the output of your queries. The Query tool in Atlas TI allows you to retrieve quotations by searching within your code structure. A query is a search expression composed of descriptors and operators. These two elements define the conditions for a quotation's retrieval. Descriptors in this context can include codes, code families, or previously used search expressions as components of more complex queries. A query's operators specify the relationship between the descriptors. The query tool offers three basic types of operators. These are Boolean, Semantic, and Proximity operators. Now let's open up the query tool, introduce the tool's interface, and build a query. The two easiest ways to launch the query tool are by choosing Tools, and Query Tool in the main menu, or by clicking on the binoculars icon in the horizontal toolbar. At the left of the Query Tool is a toolbar with icons for the different types of operators. The first block of icons is made up of Boolean operators, Below them are semantic operators, and the last grouping contains proximity operators. And you don't need to memorize any of these symbols. Simply hover your cursor over an icon to display a short description of its function. To the right of the operators, there are two panes containing the two main categories of descriptors that you can use to create your queries. These are, once again, your codes and code families. Now we'll build a sample query to see the query tool in action. First, choose your descriptors by double-clicking on the codes or code families you'd like to include in your query. The order may or may not be important, depending on the operator you'd like to use. Here I'll choose the descriptors Earth and Fire. When I double-click on Earth, it is displayed as an element of my query and is the currently active term. Its quotations are also shown in the bottom-most pane of the tool. When I click on the second descriptor, the same thing will happen. Fire is added to my stack of terms. It appears as the currently active descriptor and its quotations are also shown below. Now I'll click on an operator. In the language of the query tool, the operator always comes at the end of an expression. When I select an operator, and here I'll use the operator OR, it is added to the stack of terms in my expression and the quotations meeting the criteria specified by these three elements are shown in the results list below. You can create an output of your results by clicking on the printer icon. To delete quotations, click on the X to the right of the results list. A further possibility is to limit the scope of your search to certain primary documents or document families. If you have grouped your documents according to sociodemographic data, for example, you can use the scope function to add further complexity to your query. And to wrap up, there are a few buttons you can use to modify the expression you've created. To undo the last entry, click the button Undo and specify a new operator or term. Swap or switch terms by clicking on S or click on the button C to erase the expression completely. And that concludes our Query Tool tutorial. Thank you. Mm -hmm.